Good evening, Cryptopians. This is Crypto Guru coming at you. So we have a new video right now. This is Hash Flare. I haven't done a Hash Flare video in a second. So I believe the last video I did, uh, I was at 0.25. I added one whole terahertz there. Again, I'm just starting with Hash Flare. I'm, um, I mean, I guess I don't need to take it slow, but I am. It's, it's pretty fun. So you can see this nice little uh, increase. And uh, profit now I'm up to a dollar 28 USD a day hey yay um, what's great 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 about hash flare we're gonna get into a second actually someone told me to switch pools um, I think anti pool they wanted me to put everything into I haven't done that yet maybe next video on hash flare I'll have everything in that uh, pool I'll take that suggestion and see how it goes for about seven days and see if that's pulls better than the current ones that are just set up I really haven't messed with it much so uh, like I said, I, I usually let these kind of cloud sites, they they have everything set up, so I let things run and just like it needs to, and, and everything should be good. I, I wanted to, there was a lot of maintenance going on, right? So with the Bitcoin force going down and then that happening and Bitcoin splitting with Bitcoin and then Bitcoin Cash, uh, they had some big maintenance. Right now they said they completely uh, completed a significant optimization update. Right, so uh, the performance of the website has substantially increased. Uh, that you don't get that error 500 a lot. However, during our maintenance, several unexpected issues had disrupted the service again, and they're working hard to figure that stuff out. Uh, due to emerging issues, the support queue currently is at 1,900 tickets. Our customer support team will rely to every uh, request through the response time may reach three to five days in some cases. So they're they're reaching out. Um, I haven't had an issue. I haven't really tried to withdraw yet, but I don't want to. And here's the reason. So with Genesis Mining, right, uh, they they constantly pay out every day. And I've learned the hard lesson of Exodus Wallet and putting stuff straight there. So when you have a lot of these micro little transactions coming in, when you're actually trying to utilize that Bitcoin going out, let's say I wanted to use like one whole Bitcoin, but I had like a thousand or maybe like 10,000 uh, microtransactions making that one Bitcoin. Well, my my actual fee to compile all that is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I don't actually mind. I mean, I used to think it was the greatest thing that you know Genesis pays out every day, but when you're not making so much, like for someone that's just starting off, like this account right here is just starting off, a um, $1.28, uh, that's not as bad, but like let's say this was 0.25, right? So you get these tiny uh, Bitcoin transactions coming in, and you're actually going to end up paying more once you compile them to pay out something big going out. So this is great that you can just keep it on this site and then withdraw at one time when you actually have enough Bitcoin that you feel comfortable with withdrawing. So like you can do a $50 burst or something like that, maybe once a month here with $38. And what's even better is you can actually reinvest. So reinvest to get your hash rate up, which is which is outstanding. It's awesome. So obviously they offer this for the the Bitcoin SHA two five six. They offer it for script, and then when you get into the Ether, you have to actually do one year contracts and dash one year contracts, uh, equal hash one year contract. The I think I said this several times before, and I'm just gonna keep saying this. So these cloud mining sites, right? If you look, let's go to script real quick. If I want it, 100 mega hashes of script, it's going to cost me $1,350. Now, doesn't make sense if I go and I buy the L3, if I can even get my hands on an L3, but an Miner L3, right? It's just way, way more. So th don't get me wrong. There is an, uh, an unfairness to the cloud mining versus the products that are out there mining it, right? But because of the new L3 and the D3 for um, Dash that came out by Antminer and its competitors, right now we are behind the power curve. So you don't want to buy into behind the power curve. So the, the latest thing for Bitcoin, we still have S9s and other stuff out there, right? So it's kind of with where the power curve is for the products that's on the market. And that's why they're open-ended too. So that's a lot better because you don't have like a year restriction or a five-year restriction or a two-year restriction. But when you get into something like uh, script, I don't want to spend $1,350 when like I can get way more um, if I had the, the miner itself. So 
once these companies genesis and and hash flare they have these new miners right i think they'll milk it for so, a couple months but then we're going to see some discounts and I'll, i'm honestly believe by the holiday season where especially with hash flare they like to do discounts i haven't seen it with genesis i heard about it but i haven't really seen it with genesis but i believe hash flare there's going to be some kind of discounts going on and that's when i'm going to pick up script because once it right now i can just mine other stuff and or wait on these miners to come and i do have miners in my house by the way and then just collect the coins that way and it's a lot better than actually i feel like now this is kind of a waste by putting money into this script mining at this level at this price i just feel like there's going to be this steep discount and there's going to be these people that are extremely hurt hurt feelings out there for because they paid a lot more for the mining power that now is not really significant at all and it just happens that's new gear comes out and that's what happens so you just got to be careful with that so i do not want to i i, I do have an l3 coming i do not want to put money into cloud mining when uh the gear is just way better like an l one l3 can make you I, i've seen videos at like 1.1 so it and if you just sell your hash rate on a, like something like nice hash you're, you're going to get like a 50, $53 a day off of it. So that's crazy. That's a, that's way better than, uh, than something like this, which won't give you so much per day. Don't get me wrong. I love hash flare as of right now, I'm enjoying hash flare and I'm going to be building it up, uh, slowly and sometimes in chunks. I might do like a big chunk, especially if I can get to like 5,000 users, I might do, I might go extreme. Well, we will, let's see. What we'll do, we'll do like, uh, maybe we'll do a thousand. Mm, we'll do like eight. All right. So like nine sixty, they're close to a thousand, uh, eight tear tashes. That's pretty nice chunk going up from like just 1.2. Uh, so if we get to that number and that, that'll be later by then, I'll probably have a lot more, uh, tear hashes in there. So that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys my update. Actually, I don't even know if I have any referrals. Uh, I don't think so. No. Oh, one registered. Yeah. So again, I'm brand new. I posted my referral link down below. You guys are free to use it. Uh, I haven't really, you know, been out here screaming hash flare left and right, but, uh, definitely a nice clean site for those that are looking for a nice cloud mining site. Okay. Crypto guru out. Leave any questions down below.